Yeah, did you hear about the age play party happening next month? Yeah. But where's the DL events? Where's the DL convention? And that is a great question. So, I've talked to a lot of DLs and, um, and they feel like a lot of the media that advertises the ABDL events aren't for them. They're all like AB focused or yeah. little focused. So they don't go. But I know that a very, very big portion of people who like diapers and diaper wearers are just DLs. Yeah. And that's how they self-identify. Um so, yeah. and what do you think that percentage is compared to ABs? I have no, I couldn't even give you an answer like DLs versus ABs. It, if you, again, it's like looking at the online media, you'd say everyone's AB. Right. Because there's almost no DL representation. Right. And that is not the case at all. Yeah. Like, for example, when I was doing in-person sessions and even the, like the Skype sessions, I would say a good like 50 to 60 percent are dls and not ab's and i guess when we say ab's we mean like littles and age players too right yeah well and that's where it starts to get murky after a while because it is. you have all these different subcategories now that are and you know they've always been around but now they're mm -hmm. more identified yeah and you can have overlap or you yeah. can have a very, like, narrow focus. Yeah. And it's all still considered under the same umbrella. And it's also how they self-identify, too. Because I know a lot of, like, DLs that like some elements of age play. Like, they like me being the mom. Yeah. Oh, JBDL is pointing at himself. Yes. Um, they like to feel younger than they are, but not a toddler and not a baby. Mm -hmm. And not even, like, a five, six-year-old. They just want mom to put them back in diapers for whatever and be chastised and they're just a, a younger self like maybe a teenager or middle or something yeah. and they don't identify as abdl at all like that term means zilch yeah. to them so then they're like oh this media th these events they're not for me so i feel like we're missing out on such a big segment yeah i mean just from my own personal perspective it's like you see all the representation, and or if you seek it out and you search ABDL, the majority of it's going to be AB. It's going to be people in onesies with pacifiers, uh -huh. stuffies, cute things. Right, and then like the letters are like in the big blocks, you mm -hmm. know, like the yeah. the baby blocks. And I kind of feel like it's almost like D DS mm -hmm. in the kid community. Yeah. And they're in this, there's the slash, and you'll often see groups that are left of the slash or right of the slash. Yeah. And it's kind of the same thing with ABDL. It's like, okay, yeah. which side are you on? You right. Know, it's not opposing necessarily, but they are distinct. And I feel like a lot of the people that choose one side of the slash, mm -hmm. they do sometimes oppose the other sign. They can. Yeah. They can feel like maybe a little resentment towards what that person's getting. Right. Or that that person doesn't belong in their same space. Yes. Yeah. And that can cause some conflict for sure. But yeah, it's just like, if you're a DL, trying to find like a DL-centric event, munch, mm -hmm. hang, mm -hmm. not easy. Even like chat rooms, mm -hmm. online communities. Right. It's It leads with AB. It, it does. always leads with AB. It does. Huh. So do you think there should be two separate things? I think there is absolutely the space for it. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think they have to be quite as segregated out there because, as we said, you can have overlap between one and the other. There is a lot of overlap yeah. between them. Because most ABs would probably say they are diaper lovers because yes. that's a big part of their physical fantasy. I always ask, like, clients that before. Yeah. Like, what came first? The DL or the, the age play? And for men, it was always DL first. Yeah. And that it can, it can go the other way. There's a lot of DLs who like elements of age play. Yeah. Maybe the humiliation aspect, or maybe they do like the cute clothes or the onesies or who mm -hmm. knows, but they don't want to be the baby. They don't want to be little. Yeah. You know, 
Yeah, and a lot of them like the force, like humiliation aspect yeah. of it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it really is like, what do you do if you're a DL and you're trying to find other DLs, either as a partner, play partner, social group, social support network, etc. And you have no interest in the AB side, or you feel like it's so dominated by AB that you can't exist in that space. Yeah, what do you do? I'm looking at you because I have no answers. Other than like trying to encourage DLs to go to the events, assuring them that there will be other DLs there. And I think that's probably the right answer. That's what the approach I've taken, which is to go to these events. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's as it happens, because I usually don't go into a little space mode. I, I don't right. really have one. Yeah. I'll often be asked, are you a caregiver? Are you a daddy? Really? Yeah. And I always oh. have to explain, no, I'm a DL. You know, I like the diapers. I like the aspect. I'm actually more of a bottom than a top. You know, uh -huh. that sort of thing. To uh -huh. try and help people understand that, you know, I'm here for a, a shared interest. Uh -huh. But not the same encompassing interest that you may have as uh -huh. an AB. Oh, okay. So when you tell them, like, how you identify what you're interested in, how what is their reaction? A lot of times people are just, oh, okay. Like, not negative, not positive, just, mm -hmm. oh. Um, I don't know that everyone fully understands it because I think if you're in the ABDL mindset where the AB is the most pronounced, right? someone who's just interested in the diapers is maybe like a little strange and foreign to you because that's all part and parcel with being AB. Mm, okay. You know, so maybe they, they don't understand it themselves, but they accept that other people, you know, have that interest. Right. I feel like, honestly, that DLs, there's more DLs than ABs. Wouldn't we just me. don't know that because they're like more isolated. Yeah. They, they don't like physically attend the events or they're less pronounced on the social media sites, platforms, yeah. because there's, they don't post as much because like, what do they post when you don't have like cute things to yeah. buy all the time or yeah. whatever? When you're not in like the nursery or you're not in the playpen, you yeah. all the cute things, etc. Right. Like when you and I were joking earlier, what would a DL hang be like? <laughs> and um, like, yeah. Know. Well, what, it, I mean, just hanging out, barbecuing, maybe eating food. Yeah, just doing drinking. normal things, yeah. normal social things, but yeah. diapers are involved. Yeah. And maybe, you know, some of those people don't want to wear pants. They just want to wear their diapers and shirts. Right. And that's fine. You know, that's kind of like for them, that's what their, their thing is. So there should be more. Do you think that like someone should be organizing just diaper fetish hangouts? Hmm. Right. Do, do you think if you organize one right here, like right now in Los Angeles, that people would come out? I think so. Okay. I think a good example of that is going to be the Diaper Active event, which Ooh, is not yes. really age play specific. Yes. Um, yeah, it's just diapers. Yeah. And, I like to wear them. And it's just the people who turn out for that, the people yeah. who go to these things. That's huge. Like that becomes a, that's a big event but it's also to a very specific community mm -hmm. and that is you know the gay community mm -hmm. yeah and they, they welcome everyone they yes, absolutely yes, do. i'm not absolutely. saying that they're being exclusionary mm -hmm. but when they promote when it's discussed mm -hmm. when it's organized it's being organized by the gay community in los yeah. angeles yeah and that's fine i wish there was something like that for the straight community mm -hmm. why is there not that i don't know i think that there's probably like a, still a lot of taboo, uh -huh. a lot of things surrounding that, and that is going to be challenging to overcome because we've recently had some newer events starting in Los Angeles, and there was definitely some hesitancy and some challenges to overcome for those things to happen. But you guys overcame it. Yes, but it wasn't you know the sort of thing that was immediate. Yeah, yeah. You know. Uh, and I think if, you know, somebody was to try and start that organization for an event, a munch, mm -hmm. something like that, um, there'd still be a lot of trepidation and hesitation to get people to approach and to go to it. And it still might be mostly dominated by people who are more identified in the AB space. Right. I see. Okay. And I guess, like, for ABs, it's easier for them to identify each other 
or for others to identify them by how they're dressed, if mm-hmm. they have, you know, passies and stuffies and and their clothing versus DLs. They're just <laughs> they're dressed stuff in. Mode. Yeah, they're just stuff. Yeah. 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 And, you know, here's a question for you from the events that you were hosting in Vegas. You had that monthly uh, picnic. Yes. What percentage of the people who attended to that would you say were DL strictly or primarily DL? Oh, MG. Why? That's so hard. I've never thought about that. Yeah. I mean, I went to the one with you and it looked like there were a few there, but yeah. not many. Yeah. And, it, I mean, again, we're going back to the whole idea that that was built and advertised as an age players event. Was it? Wasn't it? I don't know. You're right. <laughs> I, th- I think you're right. I think when I was organizing them, I should have been a little bit more conscientious of how <coughs> I was ad- how I was advertising them. Because you're right. It was it was an age play event. Dang it. And I personally know a bunch of DLs, and they didn't go. Yeah. Because they felt like, I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. Everyone has their own, like, whatever hesitation on why they choose not to go. Yeah. Whether they think it's they won't fit in. I, I think because age play has a lot more social aspect of it, socializing aspects to it, then DL, uh, DL can be very individual. Yeah. It's like we're saying, like, what would DLs do if you got all got them together? I don't know. Um, barbecue and... Uh, yeah, we're talking talk about suburban dads. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want all the suburban dads right now. I want to <laughs> die for them all. Yeah. But it's not the same as, like, when you have a bunch of age players get together. There's coloring. There's yes, games. games. There, yeah. There's a lot of that more social engagement that's happening. Yes. It's yeah. harder to kind of be on the periphery there. And even if you're on the periphery, you could be coloring by yourself. Right. Blowing bubbles. Arts right. and crafts. Right. Toys. Exactly. And... Oh, jeans. So okay. it's like, for a DL, like, what would that be? What now, would the equivalent be? Now I want to organize a DL-only event. Yeah. <laughs> it would have to be something like, I mean, the way I think of it is, like, when you do, like, that A-B thing, it's like, that's how children would socialize. Right. Yes. So how do yeah. adults socialize? Well, by bringing food. <laughs> by barbecuing and talking about sports. <laughs> no. Talking about sports and well, I mean, okay, that's a casual. Adult thing. That's a good casual get-together. Okay. But wouldn't adults also maybe want to go to, like, a Dave & Buster's? Yes. Wouldn't adults want to go to see a concert or a comedy club? Yeah. Wouldn't adults want to go and do something that's very adult? Like maybe, I don't know, uh, <laughs> like go-kart racing or... No, because Littles would like okay, all those things would... too. I mean, that's not to say they wouldn't, but what is something that's more of like an adult group activity? Right. Soccer. You all can go play soccer. Oh my goodness. I no, that requires I cardio. <laughs> <laughs> but you can maybe you can you know there could be say like a DL say let's call it a golf tournament. You get a bunch of deals together, get right. some tee times lined up, or just mini golf, whatever. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And like right. you make it more about like the adult competition, right? And the winner maybe gets like a little trophy and a pack of dips or something like that. I yeah. Don't know. Okay. But maybe that's what a DL hang would look like. Something that's more adult focused. Something you would do with your friends on a weekend. Right. Yeah. No, that's true. Okay. So you want to organize this? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Why? I am not the organizer type for that. I yes, mean, I can't... you are. <sighs> yeah, I know you I can. You love that shit. I just... I, yeah, I, I'll... I'll do it if no one else will. Right. Yeah, that's me, right? I'll, that's why I did it in Vegas, because no, no one, one else. else will, ugh. Yeah, but it's just like, yeah, I, I just want to show up and have fun one time. Right? <laughs> me too. That's what I liked about Capcom. Yeah. So Even though I would do all this it. bullshit yeah, yeah. when I'm there. But yeah, then it'd be like, okay, uh, the biggest spaces like Capcom, and like, what would be the DL focus there if you went in as a DL, not an AB? At, at Capcom? Yeah, like what are the DL activities? There's so many! I think I made a whole video about this. I said, um, classes. There's still meetups, like, you know, uh, like the over 30 crowd, and there's different specialty type meetups when you're there. 
Um, like what? Like asexual people. Okay. One. And... Okay, that's the only one I can really think of. But I know there's like little subgroups. Yeah. That would have like a little table discussion. So like maybe here or wherever you are, you could have like diapered hikers or diapered swimmers or diapered yeah. pilots or whatever small niche community within a niche community yeah. you want to be. Military. Yeah. Diapered folks. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, there's a dance party. That's just dancing. Yeah. Uh, who doesn't like a Nerf war, Nerf gun war? Well, I mean, you just talked about like a dance party or, you know, something like a karaoke. Again. Oh, that's a good one. These are things that you could do as DLs. Okay. You know, and just have normal outside time without the age play associated with it. Right. But be around people that you know are all padded most likely and enjoy that. Okay. You know? Huh. See, now my wheels are turning. You can't hear them. <laughs> They're turning maybe, very slowly. Maybe you could. We'll see. <laughs> it's a very small wheel. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that's kind of what you need, and it's, it's it needs to be very clear. It's not that H players wouldn't be welcome. Obviously, they would be, but it should be for the DLs. <gasps> so what about like diaper active, but like a straight one at a bar? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, that's exactly it. Like. Get a, a, a venue that's cool, hosting a bunch of diapered people. Uh huh. You know, and I don't know what changes straight advertising from gay advertising, or how that works. But I just know that the gay community tends to be more insular in terms of how they promote. Uh huh. Um, that if you're not plugged into it, you're not hearing about it. Yeah, that's yeah. Where a straight community is the default. Everyone hears about it. Oh, okay. You right. Know? I guess. Um, and, it, and it's not to be... And in Diaper Active, again, they don't discriminate. They aren't marketing it as gay only. It just happens to be the community yeah. that circulates in are gay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what would be the mainstream venue for DLs? Um, Probably like your Fat Lifes, your Twitters. Yeah. Um, yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess it depends on your following. It's not so much the platform, but your yeah. following. Yeah, who's organizing it, how they're getting the word out. Right. Like, my followers are mainly straight, yeah. I think. And it's I like, don't know. Well, it's like also part of that, with for Diaper Active, the bar they go to is a... Gay bar. Gay bar. Yeah. And it's known for kinky stuff. Yeah. So mm-hmm. for them, the bar can openly advertise, hey, we're doing this. Right. That's you know, true. Blast it out there. It's going to be a little harder to get your local sports bar to make that same commitment. Yes, it would have to be like a kink-friendly place. Yes. Possibly like a gay bar. <laughs> and that's just it. They're more yeah. inclined to be that friendly. Yes, yeah. So that's why that ends up happening. Or finding a dungeon venue or space that you can use or yes. rent. Yes, yes. Um, and then having them help advertise it for you as well. I wonder if Hamburger Mary's would be like open to a, a diaper fetish event. I could see that. Yeah. That'd be interesting. But as you said before, I would, we would have to answer a lot of their concerns and their like misconceptions mm-hmm. about the ABDL people. Yeah. And there'd have to be, I'm sure, certain assurances that no, yeah. people are not going to be popping a squat in the lobby. Yeah. People are not going to be, you know, smearing poop on the walls. You know, you, there's not going to be a biohazard waste after the fact. You know, I'd imagine that most ABDL gatherings probably end up leaving facilities nicer than most dive bars are after the end of a rowdy Friday night. I have to bring something up about a misconception that one of my personal friends had Ooh. about, like, ABDL and H-play conventions. He, like, for some reason thought that people would just be peeing everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why or how. Like, this friend is, like, he knows about kink and DS, and he's actually well-versed in these things, but even knowing me and knowing my interests, he still thought that. But do you think people should be ripping off the diaper and peeing in the corner everywhere? Yes! I didn't understand that. That's what the point of the diaper is. <laughs> exactly! I'm like, no, people would be wetting in the diaper. Yeah. And, but this is how, like, non-ABDL people think. Yeah, and that's like one of the challenges we had to overcome with our recent event here is yeah. like, yes, people will be using the diapers. No, you'll probably not know they're using them. Exactly. You, you, I, I would challenge you to be able to tell 
Right. It's a wet diaper versus right. a dry diaper if you're not exposed to that on a regular basis. Because they were trying to say, oh, if I visibly see someone has used their diaper, they have to change right away. Right? Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, okay, I see that as a concession to the host, but good luck. You're not going to see it. Non-ABDLs think that a diaper is just going to like rip open if <laughs> it's, it's too full. Like yeah, just explode <laughs> like everywhere. I think there's a perception though that like it's the people who are participating in this yeah. are going to either like overload it, overcapacitate it. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> that it's gonna create a mess <laughs> and that there's gonna be like it can't do its job, it can't contain the fluids or anything like that. Maybe because they've only seen like the really cheap drugstore or hospital diapers. Absolutely. Or they're thinking of like their own experiences maybe with children actual children. Oh and when little babies have like blowouts, which is a thing. Right. Then it seeps out the sides because they're loose and stuff. But that's honestly a small child who can't control it. Right. Whereas an adult Generally, he's not going to let it get to that point. No. <laughs> and if they are, they're going to do that in the privacy of their own home or in their own scene that they've arranged with their own protocols, not in a public shared space. Oh, my goodness. Please watch my video about uh, misconceptions about ABDL. <laughs> yeah. So I think there's that, that in the head, though, of just like, oh, my God, this horrible thing's going to happen. But it's, it's genuinely not. Even at Diaper Active, where you have people who have never worn diapers in their lives who show up. Yeah. And they're like, oh, this looks kinky and fun. I'll do it. Yes. And they and they get in, all into it. Oof. Like, I don't see them having that same issue. Oh, no. No, they don't. So, so what should our parting words be? If you're a DL, there, there will be other diaper fetishists mm -hmm. out there at the ABDL events. Absolutely. And sometimes you may have to go looking for them. They're not going to be apparent. And sometimes in order to blend in, they're going to join in with the ABs because that's really yes. all you can do sometimes. Yeah. No, you're right. They'll like don a cute t-shirt. They'll sit down in color because that way they can talk to this person and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. And be social at the same time. Yeah. But if, you, if somebody is just a plain DL and just wants to show up and wear, you know, some Levi's jeans and a button-up shirt and wear a dip underneath then you know, talk to them. There, there have been times when DLs have gone to these bigger ABDL events and they just felt out of place because they saw so many age players and littles doing the little things and they didn't connect with that. That's yeah. not them. And then they won't come again. Yeah. Well, they'll come again, but now they won't come to the events again. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, you're right. And it's like, if you are a DL and you were to go to an event, what would you want? Like... What would that approach look like? Okay. You know, and think about that and then think about going and being that person for others. Going and seeing who's there and being like, hey, how's it going? You're not an age player? No, you're a deal. Oh, hey, so am I. Right. Taking you know? that first step, right? You know, and it doesn't have to be like, let's have a two-hour dissertation about diapers. Yeah. But what else do we like and how do you like to enjoy this part of yourself? Yes. <laughs> Just like diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Unless you don't want to change and you want your diaper to just burst all over the place. Just burst into flames. <laughs> all over the venue. <laughs> She's gonna blow! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so just try to find the other DLs and talk to them. Yes, find them, talk to them. Don't be afraid of going to spaces that are more dominated by ABs mm -hmm. and feeling out of place because you're never gonna feel in place unless you, we create a place for ourselves. Yes. Oh, that's so such good words. Yeah. Yeah. And don't just go to an event once and think that's that's it. Maybe at the next event there might be more DLs. Yeah. And even if there's not, even if only one show one new one shows up every other month, you may have to go a few times, but they will show up. There's a lot of them out there. They're yeah. just kinda isolated. Yeah. And... Yeah. So if you're a DL, get out there, be part of that community, make friends. Maybe be the one to organize the events so I don't have to. Yeah, and, and I don't have to. <laughs> if you're a DL, tell us in the comments like what you would want to see for a DL event. What did we miss? What would be good? How would you want to be approached as a DL at maybe an age play event? Mm. And if you found a DL group that you click and connect and hang out with, how did you find them? Diaper Perf signing out. All right, take care. JBDL out. Happy Halloween. <laughs>